What is up to a Patriot Ranch family? Welcome back to another review with us here. Uh, wanted to get this one up to you guys uh, before we head up to the ranch uh, in the next couple days. We're going to be filming a ton of content, but we don't have the best service up there to uh, upload videos and uh, edit and all that kind of fancy stuff. So we wanted to get this one out to you first. Uh, today, we are bringing you the Vertix Commuter Sling Bag. Here we go. So, the Vertix Commuter Sling Bag, it's a 22 liter uh, sling bag, uh, has nice padding all around. Um, you can see nice back padding, moisture wicking, um, good padded strap on it. Um, you can switch the side however you want to uh, connect. And it doesn't have a tactical look, which is exactly what I'm looking for when I carry a bag like this. Uh, many different uses for this thing, uh, but I'm just gonna talk to you all about the use that I have for it. And we'll talk a little bit about some pros and cons uh, of this particular bag. So here we go. So to kick it off, Vertex makes all kinds of different bags. They make a couple different sling bags. Uh, they make backpacks. Uh, they have fanny packs. Um, they've got a they've got a good selection of products. Their pants are amazing. If you haven't uh, seen those yet, I suggest if you are out shooting, running through the woods, whatever it may be, um, check out their pants too. But this right here is like I said, it's the commuter sling. There's also a larger version of this called the uh, Commuter XL. Um, but this one here, um, I think is the perfect size for being uh, discreet. It doesn't look like you're carrying any firearms or anything um, until you zip this bad boy open here and boom, out pops an AR pistol. Uh, inside of it, you can see it's got a uh, looped backing on it so that you can put all kinds of different attachments on here. Um, I have a um, a three pistol uh, magazine holder here. I sometimes take the uh, AR out of here and then I put um, my P320. It's just a little bit lighter. So sometimes I like to go with that. But if you can see this, I mean, it is a perfect fit right here. Now, of course, you absolutely have to have a folder. It's not gonna work without one. Um, I fit up to about, like just about 10 inches inside of this. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but you're not gonna be able to do most AR pistols, if any, maybe maybe one with like a four inch barrel. This is seven and a half inch. Um, maybe you would be able to do it, but I really highly doubt it. But as you can see, when you flip it open, boom, it fits right inside of here. Now, moving on to the next compartment, um, I have actually seen a lot of guys using the secondary compartment on here as the uh, primary compartment and I can kind of understand because this one fits really really close back up against your chest as you fling it around um, but this is the secondary one as you can see there's a big pull tab on here this is removable it was on here um, but I moved it down to the secondary pouch I actually didn't like it for trying to fumble around. It was just a little bit too big. And then when you open up this one, you'll be able to see here, 
Uh, you can also fit that AR pistol inside this pouch. Inside of it, it also has a hook and loop backing where you can put magazine holders. So I have two AR magazines in here. Um, it also has a um, zippered compartment and pouch, uh, as well as some little mini pouches across the side. The one thing with this bag that you're not going to get uh, is a ton of different compartments and spaces for stuff. Really designed for one purpose, and uh, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of functionality for, for little, um, little gadgets to be in there. Plus, you know, for me, uh, if I'm storing a, a weapon in here, the last thing I want is to whip that thing open when I need it and all kinds of other stuff come flying out. Or if you have a charging cord in there for your phone and it's all tangled up in your gun, probably not a good idea. The last pouch on here is this front pouch. And like I said, guys, this is not like a normal pouch where, you know, you open this up and there's, you know, a ton of different room. Uh, there's a little bit of molly webbing in here, um, and that is it. As you can see, there's no other, like, holders or pouches or anything like that. Um, you can see the only thing I keep in mind is uh, an extra 1632 battery um, because that is what is in uh, the rifle that I have in here. So, um, overall, really compact in size. See if I can do this here without screwing up the microphone. As you can see, uh, fits really nice, really nice on the back, and it's very, very comfortable to wear. You can see this breathable pattern in here is really, really nice. It's actually probably one of the best um, slings that I've seen. Uh, most of the other ones that come with these types of bags are kind of rigid and hard. Uh, this is not. The other thing I love about it is that it is not a one-point attachment onto the rest of the bag. It is actually integrated into this fully double-stitched and sewn-in uh, back piece that has kind of this the padded material and the moisture-wicking material. Uh, on the sides... It also has kind of a, a hidden compartment here where you can push up your buckle. It has a bunch of different straps here. Uh, it does have a little laser cut um, molly piece here so that you could throw on uh, a radio pouch, something like that. Um, it has a side handle on it, so you can carry it like this if you wanted. It also has this little back uh, pouch to it as well. Pause. This video today is brought to you by none other than us here at 2A Patriot Ranch. So we're going to plug our own shit for a little bit. Just released on the website, we have our new cowboy shit hats. Um, I'm stoked about this one. As you guys know, I've been wearing for one for a while that I had a, a custom made patch for. Um, this one, we integrated the words into the hat itself. This is true. Uh, multicam, licensed multicam, so it looks awesome. Go to the website, to a patriotranch.com. Grab yourself one of these hats. Grab yourself a shirt. We've got the new coffees that I've told you guys about. They are absolutely delicious. But to a patriotranch.com, we appreciate you all. Thank you for your support. To kind of give you guys an idea of what else this thing can hold, um, we're going to flip it around like this super easy to spin around we've got it fully up we've got our zippers here you, these come all the way down to the side which is really nice and then boom out we go and you are ready to go so uh if for those of you that have the cz scorpion evo 3s1 um with the specific SB tactical brace on the back of it. Um, this thing actually fits even better than the AR pistol. It's a little bit uh, more compact. The only thing is those of you guys that do have a Scorpion know that there is no weight savings. 
uh, when it comes to this over an AR pistol. Um, but you can really get these things in and out of the bag if you set it up correctly. Keep your sling below as you're pulling up. Boom, out comes this, and you are ready to go. So um, this kind of gives you an example of what else could fit in there. Like I said, I also put my P320 inside of a uh, hook and loop holster on the bottom of it. Um, that thing works really, really well too. Um, as you throw this thing down, boom, you're right up, face down the target. To give you guys an idea of how you would uh, set up a pistol in there, um, all you have to do is get something like this. Uh, this is a hook and loop uh, pistol pouch. Um, I prefer the ones without the ends on it. I don't want extra stuff getting uh, snagged inside of it. This one here is by MTAC. Uh, they make pretty good stuff. Um, you know, nothing necessarily to write home about, um, but it does the job. And then all you do is you take your pistol, stick it in here, have the Velcro strap tight enough that the gun's not gonna flop around. And then as you stick it in the bag, you can pull it right out of the bag. Um, Vertex does carry their own line of um, inserts. I think they call it uh, like Takagami, tactical origami, I think is what they're going for there. Uh, and honestly, those pieces really aren't that expensive. I just happen to have this one laying around already, so that's why I didn't buy anything new for it. I had the pistol ones that I have, the pistol mag uh, holders as well. So um, like I said, this functions really well if you want to carry a pistol, reduce weight, or um, like we were talking about earlier, if you do have to have other stuff in your bag, uh, because you're going to the gym or you're going to work or whatever it may be um, and you don't want that to get mixed up in your gun a pistol in that secondary compartment would really solve that issue for you and then in the larger compartment you can put your gym clothes or whatever else you have and you're never going to affect the ability for you to take your pistol out For those of you wondering uh, yes this is clear Nothing, no magazine. Everybody keeps making comments like that. I am not playing around with loaded guns, people. I am not pointing them in my face or pointing them at my hand um, without first having cleared all of these guns myself prior to filming a video. There we go, enough said. I need to make a YouTube short with uh, that just going. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a six hour P320 X Carry Legion with a Swamp Fox uh, Liberty on top of it. Actually, I think that's the Justice um, threaded barrel. We're gonna be doing a full review of this gun coming up here soon, uh, but amazing gun. I actually love this thing. Um, it is, man, sharpshooter, very, very, very even. Um, you know, it's a heavy gun. It does have the uh, tungsten infused grip, so there is a good bit of weight to it really keeps the the gun balanced but we're gonna do a few full review on that soon um, the next review that we do um, we are going to be filming up at the ranch this week uh, and it is going to be on what we just took out of the vertex uh, sling bag there which is the cz scorpion evo 3 s1 i don't think you can make any longer names than have been coming out lately um, but stay tuned for that one probably towards the ends end of this coming week and with that said that is our full review of the vertex commuter sling bag if you have any questions leave us a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you we appreciate you all help us out as you know most of the 2a channels and political channels we get shadow banned by youtube we get shadow banned by instagram if you give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, it really helps us beat the algorithm together so that we can all continue to bring you content like this each and every week. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I'm John from 2A Patriot Ranch.